So, how's the small mart going? Toasty, are you there? You're breaking up. Ugh, it's so frustrating when somebody can't hear you. Hey, Susie! Hey, Susie! Toasty, I can't hear you. Hello? OMG! <laughs> How cute is this? Toasty, I'm gonna try to get better reception outside. There is a slight chance I was wrong about the charm machine. You think? What are we going to do now? Hey, guys! The Tech Tower is only a short distance from here. Maybe there's a gadget there that can return us to our normal size. There it is, up ahead! <laughs> from Connie Console. Time to supersize some Shopkins. Ready, gang? Ready! Ready. Thank you so much, Connie. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no. My voice won't go back to normal. Ah, just kidding, guys. <laughs> 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 Milk bud? We're gonna have to take this search to the sky. Ooh. I'm going to track down Milk Bud via satellite. I just need to pinpoint our coordinates. I could use some help. Are any of you good with computers? I know how to do a smiley face emoticon. Never mind, we're just about there. Ah, oh, this always happens to me when I'm about to do something really important. Hey, Mel T, helping my new friends find their dog. BRB. Can you hear me now, Toasty? Oh, maybe my phone's broken. Oh, oh no! no! I'm really sorry, guys. We should go check if Apple's okay. Lola, are you all right? I'm fine. The bush broke my fall. Seems like the greenery is saving a load of Shopkins today. How about you, Apple? You okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are you hurt? No, it's not that. I was chasing after my dog, Milk Bud, and now he's gone, and I don't think I'll ever find him. Oh, no. I'm so, so sorry. I just miss the way he likes to be scratched behind his ears. I miss taking him out for walks. And I miss playing fetch with him. Playing fetch, huh? Yeah, he loved it, but we lost his ball, and... Now we've lost him. <laughs> well, if I were a dog who loved playing fetch and I lost my ball, I know where I'd go. Let's go, gang. We've got a furry friend to find. This moment calls for a celebratory game of fetch. Who's in? Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. 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 Go along, milk bud. Ugh. Oh no! I think we'll just buy another ball. Check you later. Hi, I'm Apple Blossom. Proud candidate in the first election for mayor of Shopville. As an apple, I understand the need for wholesome core values. Cut! 
Jack, do we really need a flag in every shot? Of course we do. This is an election campaign video. Let's finish this later. Susie invited us to the park. We don't have time for the park. Hey, are you guys ready for the park? Sure am. No, no, no. Apple doesn't have time for the park. We have a very busy campaign schedule today. Come on, Apple. You don't really need to do any campaigning. Yeah, you're totes gonna win. Besides, is anyone else even like running for mayor? Come on, dummy me, quit doing that. Oh no, somebody help! Thanks, Kooky. You're amazing. So, uh, you want me to put this anywhere? <laughs> nah, nobody else. Way. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else. Apple so, Apple, have you picked out your theme song yet? My theme song? Everybody needs a theme song if they want to make a great entrance. Oh, um, gee, we should totally head over to the music store and create something cool for Apple. Fine. I'll add it to the schedule. Wait, we need to upload Apple's campaign profile pic first. Hashtag Apple Blossom, hashtag Bear, hashtag Bear Blossom, hashtag Shop Bill Selfies, hashtag Shopkin Selfies, hashtag Smallmart Selfies, hashtag Miss Sleepy Lips, Miss Shopville 2016, hashtag Inspo, hashtag Shopkin You done? No, I just stopped because you were staring at me. Hashtag interrupted. Hashtag back to hashtagging. Hashtag hashtag. Ba -ba -da, this is Apple Blossom. She's gonna be mayor of Shopville. Everybody vote for her. She really I think this sounded a lot better in our heads. Maybe I don't even need a theme song for my campaign. Oh, come on, Apple. We just need to create something really awesome. Shopkin who's been around the world. She has looks around her opponents. She's been campaigning up and down the streets of Shopkin, spinning for your support. Please give a warm welcome to the future mayor of Shopkin, Miss Yolanda. Look how many flags she has. She's got my vote. I told you about the flags. It's the campaign event you've all been waiting for. The Great Shopville today. Live from the Toy Store. Featuring your two favorite candidates, Apple Blossom and Yolanda Yo-Yo. Remember, if you get nervous, just smile. Being a leader is 90% confidence and 25% skill. I'm not confident in that math. That's the spirit. Now let's see that smile. I feel more nervous just looking at you. Okay, Yolanda just rolled in. Try to act natural. Hi, I'm Blossom Apple. I, I mean, hey, Apple Blossom. It is such a pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, uh, you too, Yolanda. Hey, can we talk for a moment? Sure. If I told you a secret, would you tell anyone? No, I would never share it with anyone. Okay, I'm like super nervous about the debate today. I'm super nervous too. Don't worry, the debate will be all in good fun. I think we're on. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you so much. You are our hero. Okay, Shopkins, without further ado, let's give our candidates a chance to tell us why we should vote for them to become the first mayor of Shopkins. Uh, hello, I'm Apple Blossom. <laughs> I'm so sorry, am I hurting you? Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Apple, tell us why we should vote for you. Well, I consider myself to be an upstanding citizen. 
citizen of Shopville. I promise to lead with honesty and integrity. Yolanda, why should we take yes for the yo-yo come election day? Well, I really understand the value of sharing with your fellow Shopkins. Unlike Apple Blossom, that's right, Apple refuses to share her toy. When I asked her if I could play with her remote-controlled speedboat, this is what she said to me. No, I would never share it with anyone. Gulp! But I don't even own a toy speedboat. Okay, okay. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Let's thank our two cannabis for coming. I can't believe she would make that up about me. Don't worry about it. We know that's not the type of Shopkin you are. Who's that? So, Fortune Stella, will I win the election or do I need to be even sneakier? Ask again later. Will you even answer my question later? Ask again later. Uh, who cares? I'm gonna win, and when I'm mayor, I'm gonna pass this bill requiring everybody to dress and act just like me. I don't care what you are, a shoe, lipstick, an apple. I'm gonna turn everybody in Shopville into yo-yos. <laughs> Ask again later. Did you hear that? I don't want to be a yo-yo. I get motion sickness. We need to get that bill as evidence so nobody votes for Yolanda. Run! Too bad that wasn't my only copy. Better luck next time. <laughs> and then Yolanda said she'll turn us all into yo-yos. Oh, no. We need to stop her. Hey, maybe it won't be so bad. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> it won't be so bad. It'll be horrible! Uh, Apple, I think you should come outside. That's it! This needs to stop now! Follow me! In your opponent's billboards. Such an honorable act. Every candidate has the right to an honest and fair campaign. So, uh, did you want me to put these somewhere? Yolanda, uh, what do you want? You're not playing fair. I challenge you to a shop quiz right here, right now. You're on. Shopkins of Shopville. It looks like we have a shop quiz on our hands. You know the stakes, one incorrect answer, and you're out of here. Let's get to it. Apple, what year was the small market? 2013. Correct. Yolanda, who designed the Toasty Pop inspired fashion line? Shady Diva. Correct. Apple, who came second in last year's shopping cart rally? Cheeky Chocolate. Correct. Yolanda, what is in aisle 25 of the small market? Ask again later. Ask again later. I mean, do Trick question, there is no aisle 25. Apple Blossom wins. <laughs> okay, Shopkins, you know your candidates. Now, it's time for all of you to cast your vote for the first mayor of Shopville. Oh, yeah. This is, like, super suspenseful. The moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. Drum roll, please. And the first mayor of Shopville is... It's a tie between Apple Blossom, Yolanda Yo-Yo, and Cookie Cookie. So what do we do now? In the event of a tie, candidates have the option to pass their votes to another candidate. I hereby pass my votes to... Apple Blossom. Apple Blossom is the winner! I'm so sorry you didn't win, Kooky. You're such an upstanding candidate, Kooky. I mean, what you did for Apple. Huh? What do you mean? Kooky went around and painted over all those awful billboards for you. Kooky, you did that for me? Wait! This entire campaign, Yolanda and I have been too busy thinking about ourselves while Kooky has been helping everyone out. She deserves to be mayor. I hereby pass my votes to Kooky! 
Well, you heard her, shop cans. The first ever meal of shop fail is Cookie Cookie! No, no! I should win! <laughs> oh, there's no need to cry, Yolanda. I just feel so terrible. The only reason I was going to make everybody dress like me is so I didn't feel so self-conscious about myself. Every Shopkin is different, but that's what makes us so special. I guess you're right. So, Mayor Cookie, what is your first order of business? The expansion of Shopville. Congratulations again, Cookie. I can't wait to see the new places in Shopville. Perhaps you could build another clothing store? What are you going to build here, Cookie? Well, we need something to spice this area up. Maybe some sort of club. Check you later. Shiki! We are in charge of the decorations for the opening ceremony and you are not helping! Relax, I'm just practicing my winning face. Your winning face? Yeah, you know, when everything is in slow-mo and you barrel through the finish line and you're all like... Like this! You want to be a winner, you need to visualize winning. And as team captain for the Small Mart, I want all of you to do the same. Now, drink this. Oh, what on earth is that? It's a cheeky charge-up made from milk, spinach, kale, and the tears of all my competitors that I've beaten over the years. You collect tears? That's, like, kind of weird. Welcome to the first official Shopville Games. We have shoplets competing from all across Shopville, including the Toy Store, Sports Store, Music Store, Tech Tower, Fashion Boutique, and the Small Mart. Please stand for the Shopkins National Anthem, sung by our very special guest, Miss Cupcake Queen. <clears throat> Shopkins, Shopkins, da, 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 da. No, Shopkins! Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. I have chills. Mainly because it's slightly cold today, but also because of that performance. Which leads us to our first official event. Yolanda Yo-Yo diving first for Team Toy Store. What an incredible display of shop lattices. A disappointing dive from Max Saxophone. And saves it by finding the key the judge lost in the water fountain three months ago. Now, for Team Small Mark. Do us proud, Lippy. Hold on. I'm going to get wet if I jump in there. No, thank you. Too cold. Lippy Lips fails to jump. Now for Team Sport. Simultaneously taking out the gold medal in both the water fountain diving and ice skating event. What a win! I can't believe you did that to the team, Lippy. You're benched! <gasps> so, what does that mean exactly? Is there an actual bench that I have to sit on? Oh, yeah, it's just that one over there. You know, it's actually quite comfortable, but I'm still not happy about this! Okay, Strawberry, let's try this again. You ready? Ready. Fold the paper in half, staple four times, hold this bit here, add some butter, fold that bit there, turn upside down, fold the wings down, bend the wingtips back up, do the hokey pokey, and voila! The perfect paper plane. Easy. Now, your turn. Fold the paper in half, staple two times, fold these bits there, dip it in butter, turn it around, then the bendy bits back, add some hokey pokey, and voila! Uh, at least it has wings. Coming through, guys! Get ready for takeoff! I'll never get my plane in the sky! Woo! Ah! Apple! What do I do? I know how to make them! I don't know how to fly them! Uh, hold on to the sides and lean left and right to turn! Woo! Nice work, Strawberry! 
<laughs> Thanks, Slick. Love is in the air. You later. <laughs> hey, Cheeky. <laughs> hey, guys. So, I don't want to alarm you, but I think you're like maybe running in the wrong direction. I'm training for the Shopkins Olympics, Susie. Oh, okay. I'm going to be the marathon <laughs> champion of Shopville. <laughs> Sacre bleu. <laughs> hey, I'm way faster than you, Cheeky. I can toast a bagel in like 10 <laughs> seconds flat. Uh, I don't know if that's like the same thing, Toasty. You think you can beat me? Yeah. Let's race. Okay, so last person standing wins. On your marks, get set. OMG, is that the newest issue of Shop Bell Magazine? <clears throat> Susie. Oh uh, yeah, like a girl. Yes! Woohoo! I am the marathon champion! Whoa! Toasty, what are you doing? I'm making you the hurdle champion, too. Whoa! You know what, Cheeky? You deserve to be the champ. No pain, no gain. Uh. <laughs> Shock you later. Shopkin Holmes, we need your help. Cookie Cookie is missing. Okay, where was the last place you saw Cookie? We were inside the Small Mart. I received a call from Lippy, but when I returned, she was gone. Cheeky Watson, we have one hour to find Cookie before it's too late. Oh no, why is that? I've got a dance class with Susie. I hope she's okay. Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll crack this case wide open. And we just got a step closer to solving it. Okay, it was me. I knew it. So, where's Cookie? Huh? I don't know where Cookie is. I thought you guys were talking about the mess. I ran away because I didn't want you guys to think I was so clumsy all the time. Too late for that. And where on earth is... Hey, guys. Cookie! Okay. Where have you been? Shut up. Oh, why did we think to look there? This get up in that heat? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Check you later. What a day it be to sail the high seas in search of bounty! What bounty are we in search of, Captain? Our spilt matey! The fabled treasure chest of Shop Island is what we seek! Back from a time before he and I, an old sea dog by the name of Buccaneer Bud, is rumored to have buried a chest full of mystical glitter that turns Shopkins into Blaze Shopkins! Oh. I wouldn't get too excited yet, me hearties. It looks mighty dark out there. Aye, Captain. Arr. No, I, I mean use your eye, Captain. Arr, of course. How do you say thank you in pirate? Thank ye. Thank ye, cheeky crossbones. There it be. Stare us to course. <laughs> Shop, get me timbers. It be a creature from the depths of the sea. It be a, it be a sea creature. Huh? All hands on deck! What are you doing? What am I supposed to do? I don't speak pirate! <laughs> hey, guys! Are you going to play in the pond all day? Come on, there's so much to do in the park! Sounds fun! I just need to stop in at the small mar. Let's go play on the monkey bars. Don't you just love the par? See, Lippy, you can speak pirate. This won't get old anytime soon. Check you later! I love, love, love windy days in the park. Me too. It really opens up my outfit choices. But most of all, I love windy days because I can do this. Okay, you're like amazing in that scar. Who doesn't love windy days in the park? Ah, I hate windy days in the park. Hold on tight. Uh, whoever you are, I'm June Balloon. Hey. hey. We could meet under less windy circumstances. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry, Jude. OMG, she's heading towards the stationery store. No, 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 too many thumbtacks. 
likes too many rum tops! Hmm. Toast coming in hot! Thank you so much! Hey, guys! Yeah? Would you mind turning the other way while you catch your breath? Uh, sorry. Oh, sure! Uh, whoops! Hey, guys! Check out my new leaf blower for the park! Excited! I can't believe it's my birthday already! I wonder what the other Shopkins have planned for me! Hey, Cheeky! What are you up to? Nothing! Oh, do you want to come to Shopville with me? I'm busy! You're busy doing... Uh, nothing? Uh, yeah! Oh, I guess I'll leave you to it! I can't believe she forgot my birthday! Busy making you an awesome birthday cake! <laughs> Hi, Apple. What are you looking for? Supplies. Supplies? Do you need candles? Why would I need candles? The lights are working just fine. If anything, they're a little too bright today. I guess they are a little bright. But not as bright as your birthday candles. Let me guess. You're busy, too. Uh, I'm not busy. I'm like a cray-cray busy. Oh, do you even know what day it is today? International Shoelace Day? <sighs> and your birthday. Worst birthday ever. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! No! <laughs> I love, love, love my birthday surprise. I can't believe you guys planned this together for me. Uh, totally. totally. Sure did. <laughs> yeah. Here's the cake. Hey, guys. Why is the floor so icy? Happy birthday, Strawberry. <gasps> Best birthday ever! Check you later. <laughs> hey, Strawberry! Did you fall in the pond again? No, but Milk Bud did! Milk Bud! I didn't mean that type of shake! Sorry, Strawberry! What are you up to, Apple? I'm teaching Milk Bud new tricks! Milk Bud, shake! Oh! Good boy, Milk Bud! He got the right shake this time! Oh! Yay! What else can he do? He can do everything! Milk Bud, sit! Roll over! Speak! Oh, oh, speak French! Oh, bonjour! Je m'appelle Milk Bud! Oh. Make a balloon animal! Whoa! <laughs> Milk bud. What is x when 2x equals 5 billion to the power of infinity divided by the distance between shuffle and the moon minus the stick of butter plus cookie's favorite number? Yeah! <laughs> Woo! And now, the most difficult trick of all. Fetch the stick! Oh, oh. bleu! Close enough, I guess. <laughs> Check you later. Good boy, Milk Bud. Who's next? Pick yeah, me. over oh, here. Pick me. Over here. What about you, Lippy? You haven't had a turn yet. Uh, fine. I guess one throw won't hurt. I was wrong. That did hurt. My ego. Oh, come on, Lippy. Anyone can throw a ball. You just need to put some power behind it. Watch. Milk yeah. <laughs> Bud! He, he went, went that way. way. Are you, like, sure you know where you're going? Don't worry. Cheeky's great at navigating. She'll get us back. Are you sure you know where you're going? Don't worry. Apple knows this place like the back of her hand. She'll get us home. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It begins. Cheeky, I... I don't know if I can go on any further. It's been 23 minutes, Lippy. How am I going to survive the entire night? I don't have my evening shade lip gloss. I'll have to change my name to Lippy Chapped Lips. Relax, Lippy. This shelter will protect us from the elements. This is it! Where's the extra closet space for all of my shoes? You don't have any extra shoes with you! Should we try and find a hotel? Nothing below four stars. Milk Bud! Milk Bud! Milk Bud? Slick, what are you doing here? 
Uh, mon chéri, uh, please help. I went for a jog in the park, but alas, I have lost my way home. Really? Milkbud has gone missing. We got lost looking for him too. This is terrible. I adore Milkbud. Oh, I am so sorry, mon chéri, but I must find some water quickly. <laughs> hey, there's a small pond over here. Ladies, wait. Oh, thank goodness. I hadn't seen my reflection in over an hour. Be well, ladies. I must venture to find our four-legged friend. <laughs> Look, one of Milkbud's paw prints. Maybe we should stay here in case he comes back. <sighs> You're right. We can try again in the morning when there's more sunlight. Maybe we should get some rest. I'm like, oh, way too scared to sleep. <laughs> we'll be fine. Susie, did you look at this paw print properly? Uh-huh. Why is that? Susie, I don't think this belongs to Milk Bud. Ah! 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 Why are you screaming? We thought you were a scary creature. I'm not a scary creature. I'm free to fall. Ah! Ah! Why is everybody screaming? We thought you were a scary creature. Wait, there's a scary creature in the bushes! Ah! Relax, it's just kooky. Is she scary? No, she's not scary, she's kooky. I'm Frida, the caretaker of the park. You girls seem a little lost. We are. We lost our dog, Milk Bud. Then we lost each other. And then we got lost in the woods. That's a lot of lost. Well, I can certainly help you look for him. Thanks, Frida, but we need to get out of the woods first. Yeah, it'll take forever to make our way back. Well, I just might be able to speed up the journey, girl. Thanks for stopping by the stationery store, Frida. These posters will come in handy. Fox, Fox, and Frida, watch your 20. I'm rolling through the big smoke. Over. We've got multiple holes dug up next to Cliff's train. Can you take a look, see? Copy that. I better check that out. Could be milk, bud. Here, this will help you with your search while I'm gone. I think you'd be best to start at the jewelry store. That sounds like an excellent place to start. Hey, look, a paw print! We're getting closer, gang! Let's head inside and post up some more flyers! OMG, so many rings! Hey, I'm like trying my hardest to find it. I think she's talking about the jewelry, Susie. Oh, those rings. So, uh, you gonna answer that? Oh, yeah, that ring. Hey, Toasty. Oh, we're out searching for milk bud. I can't contain my excitement any longer. I have to browse. <laughs> Shop till you drop, Lippy. Yep, too much bling. I'm falling. Ugh. Worth it. Hey, guys, check this out. Ooh, a charm machine. I'd love to be more charming. I'm not sure that's what it does, Cheeky. Do you think I'll get a fancy accent like yours, Lippy? Hello, I'm Charmin' Chocolate. Ah, uh, guys, I'm not sure about this. So, do I sound charming? 